Welcome. This is David Grant and his dog Bo in Charleston, South Carolina. Enjoy what you're about to watch. The Last Natural Thing, Charleston, South Carolina, April 2012. I'm here for the winter. It's a wonderful town. It's an absolutely drop dead gorgeous town. And it, I mostly talk about food because it's the only thing I know anything about. There's at least six restaurants that are world class. I go to them as often as I can, but there's, the new world of restaurants is changing. There are more storefronts. Reminds me of Philadelphia in the 70s. People are passionate. They, they love what they do. They make good food. And it all comes within about 60 miles of Charleston. The, the, the fish, the meat, the vegetables, the greens. It's not quite Easter yet. It'll be Easter next Sunday, and the, and the market will start again. And there'll be 25 or 30 purveyors selling fresh things. Hey, y'all. I'm Bodog. I live in Charleston some of the time with my human David. Tonight we'll go someplace where maybe we've never been. I've never been. And it'll be some new place where the people are just so committed to what they want to do. And they know people and the people know them and they, their parents come here to visit their children at the college because the food is so much better than wherever they came from. Unlike my human David, I am from Charleston, South Carolina and very proud of it. But I like him enough to go to New England sometimes. I didn't explain this earlier in this travelogue about the last natural thing, is that I'm a restaurant cook, and I've been a restaurant cook for 40 years. I love what I do. I used to be great at it. Now I've let it go to younger people. And the world is passing me by a little bit, but it's okay, it's how it should be. Where food changes and becomes maybe more melodramatic than it needs to be, but that's the way it is. But young people are getting into the food business and they're passionate and they're focused and they're gonna make their lives of it. Um, it's, it's a lifestyle, it's not just a career. It's, it's a way of living your life. And I, I absolutely adore it. And this is my dog, Bo. Bo. He loves being on camera. I am extremely lucky because I am extremely cute. And the girls in Charleston, they just adore me. They stop by the hordes. Last night I was at, I think, the best restaurant in South Carolina. Best restaurant possible in the South. It's called Fig. And I rarely eat main courses anymore. I mostly eat two starters. I was with some very good friends and we talked and we talked and we talked and we talked about each other and we talked as friends talk. And the food was absolutely drop dead gorgeous. Why well, here I am again with my human David. I don't let him pick me up very often, but sometimes on the beach. Rue Jean is a big bistro. It's um it's one of certainly one of my favorite places. And it's a place to go for uh, the best cheeseburger in town or a, a very good salad. Everybody's friendly. Everybody accepts you as you are. Uh, now, the two new places are two boroughs on Cumming Street and the Butcher and the Bee on Upper uh, East Bay Street. These are radical concepts because they're not really, they don't really fit any description. They just popped up. And that's another word they use down here for pop-up dinners. They just do, they radically change the menu just once or twice a month. And people come from everywhere. This is us in Maine. We really like it here in the summer, but it's way too cold in the winter. So we go back to Charleston. It's, it's endlessly interesting, endlessly interesting. And the food is designed by young people who are doing what I did 40 years ago. Okay, David, let's get going. 
Time to go to Marion Square where all those girls are in their bathing suits. Come on, hurry up. You have places to go. Come on, hurry up. Market Street is the old slave market here. It's been converted into an interior market. And it's the center of tourism because all of very nice hotels are all around it. And people, there are many services there you can get that you can't get in this neighborhood where I live. Um, and other restaurants, uh, 225 Pavilion, Snob, which is slightly north of Broad. Another favorite is called High Cotton. It's an absolutely stunning restaurant. Um, there's an amazing wine bar called Social that I discovered some years ago. And the food is excellent there. And almost every one of these restaurants does a five to seven happy hour. So you can go there and get half price. Oh, and in Barca. Uh, but you can go there and get really good food between 5 and 7 for a very reasonable price. I do hope you've been listening to what I have to say and that you'll come to Charleston, South Carolina and see the beauty of the city. And say hello. And the lady arrived in a cab. She said, I can't believe I'm doing this. And I said, I can't believe we're doing this either. She said, I'm married. She said, yeah, I figured that out by your wedding ring, baby. And where do you, you want to go to this place? It's the other side of Paris. And she said, is it good? I said, yeah, it's very good. Or so I'm told. So I went in to talk to the maitre d'hotel of Alpege Lacastrat. And he said, I told you last night, monsieur, that I did not have a table for you. And I said, it's okay, I'm, we're going to eat at the table de neve. Donvay. He said, how do you know about the table de Donvay? I said, I'm a cuisinier. I work for Jolie Paladin. He said, if you told me that last night, I would have given you a table. Too late now. We took the, the metro halfway across the city, had a very good dinner, and I never saw her again. Well, so long. Thank you for your time. It was really fun talking to you, and perhaps we'll have another chance to speak. So long. Bye.